Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, time for a weekly market outlook video where we take a look at the market and the upcoming week, what we could see coming out in terms of content, SBCs, promotions, everything like that. Um, and we do that every week to uh, just kind of prepare ourselves and, and have a plan going forward for the next week of FIFA Ultimate Team. And usually we start that off by looking at what happened um, on the day prior, which was what happened on Sunday when I'm recording this. This goes out on a Monday. I'm trying to get into the SBC tab here and it is not loading for me. We'll try one more time. But we got two SBCs today. That was a Luis Muriel left wing SBC. Right here, this card. Pretty decent card, not really end game, just good. Um, if you're a Fiorentina fan, Colombian fan, or just love this card, uh, it's a decent card. It is pretty cheap. I think it requires an 83 rated squad and an 84 rated squad. So it's pretty cheap, very craftable once the upgrade SBCs come out. Also today we got a guaranteed Eredivisie TOTS SBC and, and I think EA kind of got this one wrong, honestly, with the rating and with the requirement. I think they really just failed to realize how rare and how expensive informs are on the market right now. I mean, if you go and you look at informs on Footbin, the, the rating for this SBC was a 84 rated, so you I mean you need probably at least an 80 or 81, 82 rated inform to be able to complete this SBC in the cheapest manner possible. You look at 80 rated informs at 22,000 coins, that's ridiculous. 81's at 22, 82 rated informs 30k, 83 rated informs 35k, and 84 is up at 35k as well, meaning these informs are super duper expensive right now. So that... And that made the price of this SBC, the guaranteed Eredivisie SBC, uh, I mean, it, it made it pretty expensive and more expensive than it actually needed to be, in my opinion. Um, but a lot of people probably did, did that SBC. I still think it's worth a try. It's the end of the year. If you have the coins to do this SBC to spend the extra 20 to 30K um, on this SBC, absolutely go out and do it because this is the end of the year have fun with your coins you never know what you're going to hit you might hit a delict card or a dumfries or a de young they would make that sbc entirely worth it speaking of that sbc one more time we need to look at these cards that came out today um not that came out today but these cards were in the sbc and as you can tell they have been on a roller coaster ride i want to look at dumfries for example this is going to happen again on tuesday it's been happening every week but each week it's just so interesting to see these fluctuations um before the guaranteed sbc comes out you see here dumfries was 319k at a low point earlier today before the sbc sbc comes out and boom he flies back up to 360 374, I actually saw him at almost 400k, 370, 380 was where he was chilling at, but he went from about 320 to 370 today, so that was a pretty nice jump on Dumfries. Delict had a nice jump as well. He, before the SBC, was around 650,000 coins. After the SBC, he rose up well over 700, 711, 712. I did at one point see him at like 740, 750, uh, so that was a nice rebound. Um, De Young had a big bounce up as well. Basically what happened was there was a few cards in this team that were very, uh, the people wanted to get them, obviously. You saw, you saw De Young here at 544. He went back up to about 600, I do believe, at one point. So um, these cards were just highly valued. I mean, this league this year, you could make a nice triangle in the back with a right back, a center back, and a center mid with De Jong, De Ligt, and Dumfries. And even with a right mid, you could throw Ziyech in there or the right wing Nerez, which is through daily objectives. Um, I mean, a lot of these cards moved today. And it's going to be the same thing with the Serie A team this season cards. We're going to see the same thing happen on Tuesday. So we'll cover that more tomorrow in tomorrow's video um, before that SBC comes out. But a lot of these cards have really dipped in price today. And some of them, you know, in the past team of the seasons, the cheapest day has usually been Sunday or Tuesday has kind of been the cheapest day for these cards. And I would continue to, to guess that that would be the same for these cards this week with team of the, uh, with those SBCs coming. A lot of these cards have gotten pretty low for me. You know, like a Correa card, that's a card that a lot of people would be very willing to pay 218 k for. But... I think some of these pr these cards' prices are getting lower because we've had more Team of the Seasons that have been coming out. With every new Team of the Season comes out, that's just more high-rated, super-juiced 
meta and just really big stats that we see. And that just drives the, the prices lower because especially in a league like this where they're not as linkable, not everybody is going to be able to throw Correa in their team, even though he has great stats and looks like a, a really good card. Argentinian from Lazio, I mean, not the best links in terms of a hybrid squad. So that's probably why you see some of these prices a little bit lower on on some of the cards that don't have the best links, like an El Shirawi, 222K is not too bad. Fabian, 168 is decently low. Um, but some of these cards I just feel like are a little bit undervalued compared to some of the other team this season, like Bundesliga and Premier League, where you saw Premier League cards, obviously the most popular league. Um, those were very, very expensive. But again, looking up uh, into the week for these cards, probably Tuesday is going to be your, your buy time for some of these before the SBC. And obviously... We can't forget about the the upgrade SBCs are going to be coming out today at 6 p.m. UK. We're going to get the 81 plus upgrade, the double guarantee from the Syria, and as well with the regular upgrade SBC. That's going to be the start of a lot of people buying uh, rare cards and starting to craft SBCs, like those SBCs that we got today with Muriel. Let's take a look at the Syria gold player prices at the moment. I'm assuming they're going on bid for around a thousand coins. That's usually what they end up going for on um, the the day or so before the SBC drops. People are just going unassigned, stocking their clubs with these rare gold cards. I think that's a really good shout because with Ronaldo, with Cancelo, and Nine Golan, there's a lot of cards in this team that are high rated that people are going to be doing these 81 plus packs for. I think it's really worth it to try to go out and stack some of these cards in your club if you can. At least fill your club, even though it seems silly to pay a thousand coins for this card right here. I mean, it's a good value and it's worth it because later in the week, he's going to be 1500 to 2k plus. So that's a very good way to just make a few coins if you want to do it that way or to just prepare yourself uh, for the upcoming SBCs throughout the rest of the week. Other than that, um, we've only gotten how many players? We've gotten three player SBCs. We've gotten a flashback. We've gotten the Tots Drius Mertens and we've now gotten the... Um, Luis Muriel. So we've had three players so far. I do expect that we'll get one more, maybe two more, uh, because we've been getting plenty of players for each team this season that has been coming out. For the Air Divisi player, I am really sure. I don't have any sources or leaks or anything on this, but I really think they're going to do a Chucky Lozano Tots Moments card or either a flashback. I would probably say a Tots Moments card. Uh, he's had a phenomenal year this year at PSV, so that's going to be... I think that's going to be coming here this week. So I want you guys to be prepared for that. There's probably going to be a lot of hype around that card because right now this is his highest rated version. Um, it's His Tots card is going to be insane. Probably have a 99 pace, be 91 or 92 rated, have above 90 shooting, upper 80s passing, above 90 dribbling, and maybe even 80 physical. So it's going to be a pretty sick card, and that's going to up the desire and the... Um, the amount of demand that we have on some of these Air Divisi Tots cards, because obviously Dumfries is from PSV. So if you if you're doing that four five one formation or a formation where right wing links to a, uh, a right back, which is pretty popular, the four five one attacking with the two cams, the right mid, and the left mid. Um, this Lozano would get a nice green link to Dumfries, and therefore you would only need um, one. Actually, no, he'd be on full cam. I think I'm not I'm not too familiar with that formation. And how it works but that'd be a good green link and that would probably you would look to see this card Dumfries price shoot up at that point as well um, as people go and do this SBC so watch this Dumfries price if he gets down to 300,000 coins again in the next couple of days I think that almost might be a buy for me just because I'm, I'm I'm pretty certain that this card is going to be coming I do think it would be right wing if they would change it to striker that would be very interesting um, I don't really see that happening but this card is up a lot in price right now as well, just because, again, of people building some teams, trying out some of these Eredivisie players, and getting links with the Lozano card. So keep your eyes open for that one. Keep watch for that one. And, of course, uh, keep watch for other TOTS SBCs that we could see from either the Eredivisie, maybe another flashback, or an end of an era SBC like we had with Godin. I think Godin is still in the store. Yeah, he's got four days remaining, so I don't think that we'll see another SBC like this. Um, in the next couple of days, but the big things are the Syria guaranteed tots and uh, obviously You have Ronaldo hype 
So you're going to have a lot of people that are going to want and do that SBC. Obviously, we'll talk a bit more about that tomorrow. I'm thinking, again, it's going to be somewhere around the range of an 85-rated squad with a team of the season requirement. And then, of course, weekend league rewards on Thursday with a lot of supply for some of the TOTS cards coming onto the market. Um, and then for the lower-rated ones, maybe a little bit of a rise. Like last week, I bought some PKs right after rewards, and he rose 30K, just a semi-desirable player that had some supply during rewards and the price draft. We'll be watching some of that stuff as well. And one thing that I want you guys to start looking at is this is Sunday and Monday, kind of the lowest time for a lot of cards in foot. Start looking at next week's team of the season, that is League One. Start looking at some cards to possibly invest in for that time. Now, I've kind of started a concept squad. Um, next week, it's going to be League One, so everybody's going to be worried about Mbappe and Neymar. You're going to want to watch those high-level cards. People might sell their Team of the Year Neymar to go pick up the Tots if the Tots is higher rated or a different position. Same thing with Neymar. But then also, you know, if Lala gets a team this season, watch this headliner card because I a lot of you guys probably remember when this card first came out earlier in the year this year, he was like 700k first day out of packs for like the first couple hours, and people were actually buying his card uh, because they thought it was going to rebound up out of packs. Just watch that card again. If his Tots card comes out, it's going to have crazy, crazy stats. He's going to be basically club 90 and everything except for shooting. That's going to really, uh, there's going to be a lot of hype around this card. So if the headliner is a lot lower, you know, the headliner right now is 200k, and that team of the season card comes out, let's say it's, five, it's 600, 700k, which it should, probably should be, that's going to be a card that you're going, going to want to watch big time. Um, and especially all the versions of Mbappe this week, watch him. And then I have some other French players added in here as well. There's a lot of linkability with French, uh, especially if you include some of these primer icon moments. So watch icons, watch icon moments cards, and of course some of the other popular French players that have either team of the season cards or very high level informs in this game because you could see some big price increases around those cards as well. Just with people building some French teams, easy to link a lot of these guys that could be in the League One tots coming up this next week. So again, um, it, what is a market outlook video without taking a look at the cheapest players by rating? These are definitely up in price right now with the uh, SBCs that have come out recently. So if you see some lowering of prices, if they release some SBCs that give out good packs and lower the prices of high rated golds, make sure you go and pick up on some of those, maybe 16,000 coins, kind of your look for the 86s. Again, 9K for the 85s and 20K, 21K for the 87s. So Keep your eye on the market this week. There's going to be a lot of movements. If you're trading right now, it's a fantastic time to be flipping cards. Fluctuations are everywhere. Rare cards, old team of the weeks, old special cards, headliners, FFS, um, and carnival, stuff like that. Even old team of the seasons, uh, Premier League, Bundesliga, and most consistent. Those cards are fluctuating a lot right now. So if you're still motivated and trading really hard, um, that's a great way to look for to to uh, make some coins right now at the moment. Um, but again, it should be a fun week on foot with the upgrade packs. I'm going to be doing a bunch of those. Expect a video on that here soon as well, just because we love to op open up those packs. And you can imagine hitting Ronaldo. That's kind of what's driving a lot of people to do those upgrade packs this week. So if you haven't prepared by getting some Serie A rare gold players in the club, that might be a good, uh, a good decision to go and do that as Ronaldo is sitting at about 8.3 mil right now. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.